going over TQQ and SQQ. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day-by-day -day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1-hour chart. We are approaching to Night MACD territory. As we extend that to the 4-hour chart, we are remaining slightly pause MACD. We did see a diverge. As we extend that further to the daily chart, we are remaining pause MACD and slightly off of overbought levels with the RSI. As with the trade idea, my position size for it's less than 1% of my portfolio, my entry into it is at $127.43, my sell target is at $140.93, and my stop loss is at $123.22. And as for SQQ, on Friday it closed above 1.3%. As with the 1 hour chart, we are approaching to pause MACD, and we're nearing overbought levels with the RSI. As with the 4 hour chart, we still remain in negative MACD, but we're seeing signs of a converge. As we extend that further to the daily chart, we remain in negative MACD and slightly off of oversold levels with the RSI. My position size for SQQ is less than 1% of my portfolio, and my entry is at $7.57. My sell target is at $8.37, and that is this range here. My stop loss is at $7.32. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model. And we're examining QQQ and TQQ is a leveraged version of QQQ while SQQ is an inverse leverage of QQQ. So do keep in mind of that. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, QQQ has a 50% chance to climb between 0 to 3%. To the downside has a 38% chance to fall between 0 to negative 3% and a 13% chance to fall between negative 7% to negative 11%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.